Uh, hi, I'm Chris. I'm here at RFA. I am currently the AIT manager, AIT standing for Assembly Integration Testing. I help ensure that all the parts that go on stage one get built, get manufactured, and that the testing behind them is correctly done. I make it easy on camera, but the, the actual manufacturing and all the steps, all the various things that go into it do add up. There's a lot of variables, uh, a lot of things you have to think about when, when going into space, and uh, it becomes quite fun and a challenge. There's a lot that goes into a rocket, the thrust frame, for example. The thrust frame is, is pretty self-explanatory. Think of like a roll cage in a car. It's on the bottom of the vehicle, and it's where your engines all mount to. Each single engine will sit here and then we have a center engine sit there on a center thrust frame. So the entire load of the, the thrust from your engines is going through the thrust frame and then of course distributing through the vehicle. You have to consider everything. This is everything from how do you actually build it and then how do you make it affordable and how do you make it light within that building process and then not just that if it can be built outside of the tank fantastic but then how do you get it inside of the tank. The awesome thing is we have an awesome team here. The engineers are always downstairs and so they're always here coming to the shop, always asking questions. It's awesome in the fact that we can kind of just go to them and be like, hey, this doesn't seem to be working the way it ideally was supposed to. Um, can we change this? And right away they're, of course, they're jumping on it. Having that um, communication between the shop and the engineers is one thing we can add RFA and are doing amazing really good job with the the communication between our engineers and our shop everyone has the same goal in mind and everyone is willing to work towards that goal and having such a team and an awesome team and, and highly experienced team working towards this goal is awesome to to just be a part of i don't have any aerospace background in my uh, education however i've always been curious about rocketry I, I never really expected to come to this area and and even into aerospace but finding myself here is, uh, has been an awesome and rewarding experience. Whenever I go back home, uh, everyone's usually quite curious, so maybe I'm happily able to explain what I know and what I do. That is quite enjoyable.